Hey BC drivers, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation just finished listening in to the people who get to decide your auto insurance premiums. The government. Of course, here in British Columbia, we have one-stop shopping when it comes to auto insurance. The government-forced monopoly of ICBC. And largely because of that, we also pay the highest auto insurance rates in the entire country. Doesn't matter if you're a good driver, bad driver, medium driver, young or old, you gotta deal with ICBC. And unfortunately, our rates are the highest here in British Columbia. But there was a big announcement today by Attorney General David Eby. He's in charge of the ICBC file. The headline's gonna be, good news, two thirds of people will be paying lower auto insurance rates. Good drivers will be paying less and bad drivers will be paying more. On the surface, that's a very good thing. But the devil is always in the details, right? Keep in mind and pay very close attention to the language being used here. They frequently said that good drivers will be seeing discounts better than they otherwise would. That they would be paying less than they otherwise would. What exactly does that mean? Because right now, under the current system, we pay the highest rates in all of Canada, about $1,700 per year on average for the driver. And we're due for skyrocketing insurance rates. Year over year, they keep on jacking up the rates. And today, they would not commit that that rate increase coming up in September, just in time for back to work and back to school, would be less than double digits. That means that we already paid the highest amount and we're going to keep paying through the nose. So the language used today, repeatedly, was that good drivers will be paying less than they otherwise would be. What exactly does that mean? Does that mean that as of next fall, when this new policy comes into effect, that our rate hike will be slightly less painful than that for really terrible drivers? The problem here is that we have a government forced monopoly. The problem here is that we, as adults, BC drivers, are herded into a room and told by the government what we shall pay for auto insurance, regardless of our driving record, age, or experience. That's just weird. BC drivers want choice. They should be able to opt for ICBC if they want it in the form of a co-op or a credit union, or they should be allowed to take their business elsewhere and shop around for their own auto insurance. In other provinces, drivers are allowed to find their own auto insurance and to even group it with things like your home insurance, fire insurance, content insurance, and pay even less. It's amazing. Just imagine if we had one grocery store and it was run by the government. How good do you think that quality of food would be? How good do you think their prices would be? It just doesn't make sense. We need ICBC opened up to competition to put out this billion dollar dumpster fire and to allow BC drivers to have choice to shop around to find lower rates. If you agree, go to our new website, icbcchoice.ca.